All right, Cameron uh, for Twig Time, back for another video. We're here with uh, Cheryl. She's the Senior Marketing Director of Qualcomm MEMS, um, and she has a color uh, e-reader here that she's going to tell us about. Yeah, so what you're looking at here is a Kyobo e-reader. This just launched in Korea uh, at the end of November and is commercially available now. And let me tell you a little bit about why this device is so unique. And I'm going to point you actually not to the technology, but to this uh, logo of the Mirasol butterfly. The Mirasol butterfly symbolizes the unique way in which we create color content. Color content uh, is generated by the ambient light in the room, and we use a MIMS structure that actually modulates the light wave to generate color. So this color is actually generated not from any layers, filters, or uh, gels. This is generally uh, in, in a, um, uh, generated rather by the, the simply the light in the room. And so you can see that that is a, a full color spectrum. Now let me tell you about the device. This device is an e-reader. It is an e-reader with color. This is an e-reader that also has um, multimedia capabilities. Uh, Kyobo is the uh, number one bookseller in Korea with 90,000 titles. This market is a 100% literacy rate, high value on education, high value on academic devices, and this is a premium product for the Kyobo store. So they're super excited to launch it and especially because this is the first time Mirasol technology has been available uh, in a commercial device. So let me just show you uh, a little bit about what this bookstore looks like. A lot of color. Uh, if you can read Korean. I'm yes, sure some of, I'm so, so of our uh, viewers can. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. And uh, uh, there's all kinds of great titles. This uh, device also ha has the exclusive in Korea for the Steve Jobs bio. Um, also an exclusive with EBS. I downloaded that one, Christmas Carol. Hey, hey, you know, it is that time of the year. Uh, and uh, so a very robust uh, uh, a reader, and it is definitely a learning tool. But if we go into the device a bit, uh, you'll see that there is uh, EBS is their content partner. And uh, this is really an example of a publisher that is carving out new digital channels. They're really looking at how can we support our content through different modes of learning. And so textbooks, while uh, still very much a part of the learning environment, um, are, are going the way of the dinosaur. And we know that, that uh, publishers' uh, content really need to uh, carve out new ways to monetize their content. So EBS is doing a fine job of that as well. Uh, we'll also take you back to the uh, uh, Android 2.3 setup where you can see there's a lot of features. I've actually customized mine a bit. Um, this is a video that uh, actually shows uh, or talks about the concept of biomimicry. And I understand it's, it's running a standard definition up to 40 frames per second. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's important to keep in mind that there, there is no backlight here, but uh, the display is, is quite good um, using reflective light. Um, of course, that, that reduces the power consumption as well. Uh, some, some would agree it's better for your eyes because there is no backlight that you're looking at the whole time. That a lot of consumers will believe that a light not shining in their eye is beneficial. So we, we, you know, we're certainly excited about it because it, it's a technology uh, a first, and it's based on biomimicry or nature-inspired designs, uh, In which is why it's uh, 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 there's such a low power proposition is predicated on the fact that you're not, you don't have a backlight, you're not fighting through layers of. Uh, liquid crystal and filters and all of these things, you're, you're, you just don't have the same fundamental physical li uh, physics limitation. So, uh, definitely an innovation. So. And um, just to finish off, I mean, this device, as you've said, it's, it's going to be, oh, it's, in, it's on sale now yes, in Korea. Um, and I understand it's around 300 US. Yeah, just under it works 300. out to be around 300 US. Yeah. And if you're a member of the bookstore, um, it will be around 250 or so, yeah. maybe a bit higher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Cheryl, for the introduction. Thank you, Tweak Town. Okay. <laughs>